Dad, under some things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a glow up to help me. I'll help you. Episode 8, Spitball Rocket. Just so everyone knows from the start, there are no actual spitballs involved in this project. For the spitball rocket, you're going to want a straw or a tube of some type, some computer paper, some construction paper, a ruler or straight edge, a pencil, a glue stick, and a pair of scissors. The first step here is to draw some rectangles for the fuselage of your rocket. And the exact size is really up to you. Part of this experiment is about finding the design that's working best. And so my rectangles that I used were approximately seven by three inches, about five by three inches, and about three by three inches. After that, you wanna go ahead and cut them out. Step after this is to roll the rectangles around your pencil or some type of cylinder that's slightly bigger than the straw or the tube that you're using. What I had earlier was actually just a pen that I'd taken apart and I uh, was left with a hollow tube. Uh, so you just wanna make sure whatever you roll it around is slightly bigger than the tube that you're gonna eventually be using to launch the rockets. Uh, I'm again making these three different size rockets to show you some of the different designs that you can do. Now we need to seal off one end of the rockets. Uh, you could call this the nose cone of the rocket and it needs to be airtight. And a really easy way to do that is just to fold the end over um, and then take some glue. And with your fingers, what I usually have my students do is just hold it for about a minute. And that usually does the trick. Uh, if you have something to hold it, like a, a clothespin like I do right here, then that can help you move on to the next step while you wait for it to dry. Here I'm taking my construction paper and again just drawing some rectangles. These are going to be used to make my fins or wings. One little construction tip here, if you do take a rectangle or a square and cut it diagonally, you'll end up with two identical triangles. And really the idea behind a fin on a rocket is to help it go straight. Um, but this is again part of the experiment that is up to you. You get to choose the shape, the number of fins you put on there, um, and where you put them on the rocket. All of those things are your choice. I like to start off at least this first one by putting them on the bottom of the rocket. That's normally if you look at a real rocket where you're going to see the fins placed. And the technique I usually teach my students is what I call the flag technique because you just lay it on there and it kind of looks like a flag at the top of a pole. There are certainly other ways to do it. Um, it's really up to you. Some people like to fold the paper over just a little bit and then glue it on but uh, this way works really well. For my second design, I went with more of an airplane style approach. And then for the third and final one, the very small one, I went back to a rocket design. I just used three fins this time instead of four like the first one. And now before we get to testing, we just wanna go ahead and make sure that all the rockets actually fit on the straw or the pen tube or whatever you're gonna use to launch it with. Uh, so go ahead and make sure they got a nice snug fit. So as we take a look at the testing here, one thing that came to my mind was that, scientifically speaking, we can't really recreate the same launch each time. We need a launcher, something like the Stomp Rocket launcher that we use in class. Pause here. So the first thing that came to my mind was kind of like a whoopee cushion type device but I figured I could use one of these squeezies, which usually holds yogurt or something for my daughters, and uh, I found that my straw perfectly attached right onto the end of it. Now, you might need to use a plastic bottle. Uh, you probably need some tape to kind of adapt the size of the bottle down to the straw, but uh, go ahead and get creative and see what you can come up with. I used some clothespins to hold it up and get a launch angle, and I was very surprised at how well it worked. Now make sure you don't point these at anyone, of course, and they can go pretty far. That one went clear over the car there, and uh, they're a lot of fun, and I look forward to seeing some of the creative designs that you all come up with. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks again to my family for helping me out. I'd love to hear about your spitball rockets. Let me know how it goes.